Cappadocia is one of these places on earth that just feel like a fairy tale. Countless caves in a unique landscape and hundreds of hot air balloons that rise up to the sky every single morning combined with the fascinating Turkish culture will make this destination to one of your favorites. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today I want to show you how to travel Cappadocia. Let's start with where to stay and when to go. The most popular town to stay is Göreme and it's also the one I can highly recommend to you. Göreme has many beautiful cave hotels, good restaurants, is close to all of the popular valleys and you can book any sort of tour here. We decided to stay at Cappadocia Cave Hotel and had a really good experience. The rooms look like little caves and there's a pool and a rooftop terrace from where you can watch the sunrise with the hot air balloons. No matter where you stay in Gereme, you should pick a cave hotel. Another town where you could stay is Urisa. Urisa is only about 5 km away from Gureme and has a beautiful cave castle you can explore. The castle in Urisa and its surroundings are like a playground for photography. So if you're really into photography, you should spend at least a day in Urisa. The best time of the year to visit Cappadocia is spring and autumn. Because the summer in Cappadocia gets really really hot and in the winter they even have snow. One shop that is a must see in Gureme is the Gallery Eegman. With the floors and boards covered by carpets, it's absolutely perfect to take some stunning photos and videos for your Instagram feed. The only downside about this shop is that you need to pay the owner to take photos there. You can also pay him to take photos and videos of you because in fact, he's a professional photographer. Talking about photography, one thing that is a really cool experience is to book a photo shooting with a professional photographer for sunrise. In Cappadocia there are several great places to watch the sunrise, but the panoramic viewpoint is definitely the best one. From here you get a stunning view on Goreme and the surrounding valleys. You can even see the Uhisa castle from here. Apart from being in a hot air balloon, visiting the panoramic viewpoint is probably the best way to watch the sunrise in Cappadocia. You will see the sweet pastel colors in the sky and how the first rays of sun fall on the landscape while hundreds of hot air balloons rise up to the sky. It's a truly unique and beautiful experience. As mentioned before, there are many beautiful valleys in Cappadocia. My personal favorite is the Log Valley. The unique landscape with countless lost caves you can explore freely is a stunning place to visit. The hike through the valley is only 5 km long and can easily be done without much hiking experience. If you would like to see more from the valley, then you can watch this video here, where we documented our little trip. There's another place in Cappadocia I would highly recommend you to visit, and the name kind of tells you everything about it. It's called the Sunset Point. This is a really great place to watch the sunset in Cappadocia because you can see the golden light on Gureme and the surrounding valleys while watching the sun going down behind the hills. And afterwards, if you want, you can visit a cave bar that's very close to it. And then of course, one last thing you should absolutely do in Cappadocia is to book a hot air balloon tour for sunrise. If you do this, they'll pick you up with a little shuttle bus and bring you to one of the valleys and it's really interesting to see all of the hot air balloons and how they start to rise up to the sky. What they usually do at this tour is they first go really high so you get a fantastic view on the whole landscape and on the different towns in Cappadocia and then they go super low so you're only flying like a few meters away from the hotels in Gureme. For me personally, Cappadocia now counts to one of my favorite places around the world. I felt super inspired to create photos and make videos there and it's very fascinating to see the culture and the landscape and the whole surrounding. So looking at it from a digital nomad perspective, it's not a place where I would stay for longer because I don't think there's a digital nomad community or like co spaces or any of the things that people that work online really enjoy but it's perfect for a short vacation. So I think the best amount of time there would be about five days. 
I would go there for at least three because if there's too much wind, then the hot air balloons are not going up. So if you only have one or two warnings, it could happen that you don't even see the balloons. So plan enough time. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye guys.